Meet Sir Isaac Newton, a brilliant scientist and mathematician with a fabulously luscious hair. Sir Newton revolutionized science through the fundamental laws of motion. According to Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. An object in motion continues in motion with the same velocity unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This law is often called the law of inertia. Now, let's take a look at Newton's first law at work. This is a beautiful bench. This bench is at rest in a pretty park. The bench will remain at rest, unless, oh crap, watch out for drunk driving Daisy. Poor Daisy should have followed driving safety laws and Newton's first law of motion. As we can see, the car is in motion and will continue in motion but it was acted upon by another object, the bench. Although Daisy is at rest relative to the car, she is in motion relative to the surface of the earth. Unfortunately for Daisy, drunk driving and her failure for using the seatbelt, resulted the lack of force that the seatbelt would have acted upon her, preventing her to continue in motion until she flew off her convertible, breaking her windshield and resulting some traumatic injuries for herself. On to Newton's second law of motion. Acceleration is produces when a force acts on a mass. The greater of the mass of object being accelerated, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate the object. Meet trucker Todd. Oh, no. Todd's truck broke down in the middle of no man's land. Todd cannot fix his truck so he decided to push it. Time to get some work out. Looks like Todd is out of shape, or simply he just does not have enough force to accelerate this truck with that mass. Oh thank the seven gods. A lovely lady came and helped Todd push his truck. Awesome, his truck is finally accelerating. Is that lady Wonder Woman? No, she simply supplied sufficient force to accelerate Todd's truck. Remembering Newton's second law of motion. Acceleration is produced by a net force on an object, but the more mass an object has, the greater force it requires to accelerate. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, says Newton's third law of motion. Say hello to tough luck Louis. Tough Louis thinks he is strong enough to break the pillar with a single punch. Unfortunately for Louis, he lacks the knowledge of Newton's laws of motion and did not know that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As Louis punched the pillar, the pillar also punched Louis. Although the force of the punch was equal, the pillar, as Louis did not realize, has much more mass than he does. Therefore only breaking Louis's hand rather than the pillar. Bruce Lee might break the pillar, but not Louis. Tough luck. <laughs>